Hello, in this video by Yerj, I'm previous the tutor. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share my videos. So in this video by Yerj, we'll be looking at blood composition, which is transport in man. Now, under transport in man, we are going to look at the blood. This question came in 20, 2020 also. It came on section B, paper 2 biology, when you when you go there, it usually comes, it was talking about the composition of, uh, of blood. Now, you, you have to know that blood is a red pigment that is made up of cells. Anything that is made up of a lot of cells, we call it a tissue. Then tissues, they make organ. Then organ, they make uh, a system. Then system, they make up uh, an organism. So as you are interest, we are interested in these two. Blood is a tissue. It's a tissue because it contains a lot of cells. And those are the ones that we're going to talk about. So blood is made up of one, the red blood cells. So I'm talking one by one, the red blood cells. The other name for red blood cells is erythrocytes. Erythrocytes. Now, what are red blood cells? Red blood cells. These are by concave, by concave, by con, con, by concave. So let me write it properly. By concave cells which transport oxygen around the body not only oxygen but they also transport some small amount of carbon dioxide so the these are by concave in shape they they lack in nucleus since they like nucleus, they have what to call hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a red pigment that goes high at, that has high affinity of oxygen. So what happens if this is hemoglobin, then this is oxygen. So this is going to attach itself to form ox hemoglobin. That's what happens. So this is the structure for for the uh, red blood cells. They are by concave. You can see that eh? they have no true nucleus there inside. They, are, they only contain hemoglobin. So that's how they are. They are disc-like. Now, where can you find where are red blood cells produced? Let me just get rid of this. The red blood cells. In adults, they are produced in the bone marrow. While the red blood cells in babies, they are produced in the liver. I think that's the main important thing that you need to know about the um, the red blood cells. Let's look at the white blood cells. White blood cells, the other name for white blood cells are leukocytes. Now, what is the function of the white blood cells? These, they defend the body. Against infections. By engulfing. So the white blood cells they are produced one in the spleen, two in the tonsils, three in the lymph nodes. Yeah, quite a lot but these are i think these are enough for you to know 
then there are two types of white blood cells of white blood cells that you must know the first one is the phagocyte these phagocytes they engulf bacteria they engulf to engulf it to, is to digest so when let's call this is a bacteria and the the phagocyte is somewhere here so what happens it will take up this bacteria here once it comes like this it will start now digesting and it's going to form until it's complete and the bacteria is inside it can no longer escape so that's what a phagocyte does so let me just show you an example of a phagocyte so this is how a phagocyte is like i said so it has got cytoplasma it has got a cell membrane and it has got a lobed nucleus there so once it will come there if the the virus is here or any foreign body it will be engulfed to, to be digested until it is inside the other type is the lymph lymphocytes the, the, the lymphocytes these they secrete or they produce let me call it produce antibodies and antigens what happens is this huh? antibodies and antigens Antibo antigens antibodies they usually attack antigens so antibodies they act like foreign bodies so what happens if this is a lymphocyte and this is a bacteria so the lymphocyte is going to produce antigens and it's also going to produce antibodies now these they both act on the foreign body for example a bacterium or a virus that's what happens so it doesn't really involve itself it only produces these bodies which now attack the bacteria The other component of blood that I'll talk about is the platelets. Now, platelets, these are cells that are important in blood clotting. Now, what happened? How is the blood clotting done? Step one. So let me draw, let me draw something here so that you imagine this is a, an artery okay this is an artery then on this artery there is let me do this there is a cut somewhere i will do that and since there's a cut blood is flowing So this blood is flowing there are platelets here let me show this by allos so let's go and see what happens now these platelets remember they are important in blood clotting so now blood will start now to come out there since there's a cut when blood is starts to come out there these platelets are going to say uh -uh, we can't lose blood once a person loses blood, it's going to uh, the person might die or collapse or, or do something. So what happens is that these they have an enzyme. So the step one is that thrombokinase, the enzyme, is produced. Now, thrombokinase which works on the protein called thromboplasty so 
Probabil nu trombo plastic. Prothrombin, sorry. Prothrombin. So this is a protein which is found here. Just here. Now these are going to produce an enzyme which is going to act on on that protein. So what happens when this protein happen uh, is worked on? Form forming this forms what we call an active form of prothrombin, which is a thrombin. So this is inactive, but this is active. So they can't use something which is inactive. They have to use something which is active so that it can work properly there. Now, in step two, we have thrombin. Works on. Fibrinogen forming fibrin. Now this is soluble. All right. This is also another plasma protein which is found here as well. So thrombin is going to act on fibrinogen, which is soluble, to form something which is insoluble. So fibrin in this case is insoluble. Now all this takes place in the presence of calcium ion and other clotting factors such as vitamin K. Take note, calcium ions and vitamin K, these are important clotting factors. So what happens? So we have thrombokinase, an enzyme, thrombokinase, which is going to act on what? On a prothrombin forming thrombin now this thrombin is i said is, a, is, is, is an active form which will now act on this enzyme known as fibrin gene forming fibrin an insoluble form here it will be there now when that happens is this fibrin since it's insoluble it forms so i think fibrin forms a mesh that traps red blood cells and white blood cells so when that mesh is formed the fibrin it now acts on that same uh, leakage and it forms a mesh on top when it forms a mesh that means no more white blood cells can pass out and no more red blood cells can come out this mesh is what turns into a clot and at last forms a scar. It's a simple, simplest way you can explain how platelets work, how they how they are able to form a scar, how they are able to form a wound, or how they are able to form a clot. Simple as that. In biology, I would encourage you you draw a diagram. Because when you draw a diagram, it adds more color to your notes or to your essay. Let's look at the last um, component of blood, then we close the chapter. So look at, let's look at blood plasma. Saying bl this is the liquid part of blood. Now blood plasma is made up of water and dissolved substances. These substances can be food, such as monosaccharides, amino acids, fat acids, glycerol, it is as well as vitamins. It can also contain dissolved metabolic waste such as urea and carbon dioxide. It can also contain chemical substances such as hormones, antibodies, antitoxins, and plasma proteins. Remember, examples of plasma proteins we have, like I talked earlier, we have thrombokinase. The other name for thrombokinase is just thromboplastin. Then we also have prothrombin. All these are plasma proteins. Plasma proteins here, they say it, they include prothrombin, fibrinogen, albumin. Okay. The law, uh, so this, this was an enzyme that acts on this plasma protein, sorry. 
the laws of plasma proteins include one maintaining blood viscosity blood viscosity it means how thick or how blood is able to flow when blood is too thick how does it flow when blood is less thick how does it flow causing blood clots all right maintaining a constant blood ph maintaining osmotic balance osmotic has to do with the pressure or water balance the function of blood plasma now the function of blood plasma are one trans transportation of the food that has been dissolved there second is the transportation of metabolic wastes that are also dissolved there transport of hormones which are also dissolved here also they distribute heat uh, around the body most of the heat is generated by the liver and muscles you must know that the liver and muscles are the one that dis uh, generates most of the heat in the body therefore the summary of blood function can only be summarized into transport and defense i'll pay this little i'll see the next video cheers